Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikkel Tal and Jonathan Spielman. This game was played in Reykjavik in 1988. Mikkel Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Spielman played d6, d4, g6. Is it going to be Pilt's defense? Let's have a look. Knight to f3, bishop to g7, bishop to e2, knight to f6, knight to c3, and both players cast at the king's side. c5 and now d5. The game transposed to Schmidt Pedoni. Knight to a6, rook to e1, knight to c7, bishop to f4, b5. Is this pawn for free? Knight takes on b5, but now knight takes on e4. Knight takes on c7, queen takes on c7. c3 comes to mind, defending b2 pawn. Tal played bishop to c4, attacking the knight. Knight to f6, h3 preventing bishop to g4, making the room for the bishop if necessary. Rook to e8. So far, Spielman is happy with his game. Rook to b1. a5. Queen to d2. Queen to b6. Rook to e3, intending to double the rooks on the e-file. Bishop to a6. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Rook from b to e1, threatening rook takes on e7. King to f8, knight to g5, queen to b7, attacking the pawn on b2, and also the one on d5. c4, solving both problems. Queen to b4, black wants to exchange queens. Queen to e2, h6 attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Is this the best square? Not a bad square. This is not what Tal played. This is what he played. Knight takes on f7. Did you also find this move? If you did, how would you continue now? Did you find rook takes on e7? That is the wrong move. This is not what Tal played. What's wrong with rook takes on e7? Let's have a look. If rook takes on e7, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, king to g8, and black is okay. Interesting. So what is the best move then? Did Tal blunder? Hmm? The best move is Rook to b3. This is what Tal played. This is what he had in mind. What is so special about this, apart from attacking the queen? With this move, Tal is clearing the path for the queen to come to e6. Black queen must move, so we have Queen to a4, Queen to e6, check, King to f8, Rook to b7, Black King is very uncomfortable. Spielman captured the pawn on c4, well he considered Knight to g8, but after Bishop takes on d6, he can't capture the Bishop because of Checkmate. We have queen takes on c4, bishop takes on d4, knight to g8, defending the pawn, and also black bishop is coming to f6. Rook to e3, intending rook to f3. 
bishop to f6, rook to f3, pinning the bishop, king to g7. Look at this heavy concentration of white pieces around the black king. But how to continue the attack? What is the best move for white in this position? Hmm? What would you do? This is what Tal did. Bishop takes only seven. Rook takes bishop. Rook takes rook check. Knight takes rook. Queen takes bishop check. King to g8. Queen to f7 check. King to h8. Queen takes knight. Queen takes pawn on d5. White to move. White played a move and black resigned. The move is rook to f7. There is no sensible way to prevent a checkmate. One of the threats is queen to f6 check and then queen to g7 checkmate. If black wants to prevent check on f6, then rook to h7 check and after king to g8, queen to f7 checkmate. And let's go back to this most interesting position of the game. Did you find this knight sacrifice? And what about the follow-up? If you found both of these moves, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.